Hi, it's Karen from Port Prep. If you're applying for interior design, industrial design, or architecture, and you have to make a portfolio, you probably know you have to be able to draw like a designer, at least for a few of the portfolio pieces. And maybe you don't have any clue how to do that, or maybe just some of it. You don't have to be the greatest artist, and you know, you don't have to have had a lot of drawing experience to learn how to draw the way a designer does. Really, you can learn in a few weeks to a couple of months, at least well enough to show that you have potential as a designer. And I've heard from students that it's sometimes challenging to find the right kind of education to help you learn how to draw like a designer quickly because if you're now in your grade 12 year trying to make your portfolio and it's pretty stressful because you have a lot of homework you got to keep a high average especially for architecture and how are you going to learn how to draw too and make the portfolio and do all of that and apply for university it's a lot so we make it simple for you and we teach you just the skills you need to be able to make drawings for your portfolio and look more professional and show that you've got enough knowledge and aptitude and enthusiasm for design. Uh, the other thing that's great about our courses is they prepare you for success in school as well. Um, so basically you're showing the review committee that you're ready to be trained. You don't have to be an absolute pro. This is not you trying to prove you're an artist. You're a designer with enough skills that you're ready to learn. So we've made a course that gives you everything you need to be able to draw like a designer. So I highly recommend for sure take the architecture and design portfolio course if you're worried about how to make your portfolio when you don't have a lot of work already, you're not sure what to make or how to make it, that course is perfect for that. But the other thing that really helps is learning how to draw. And there's a little bit of that in our architecture and design portfolios course, but not a lot. So if you feel like you need more and you feel that you do have the time that you could do that, or you've um, you want to make the time and just really dedicate yourself to this because you want to get accepted the first time you try, not next year after another gap year or something, then sign up for this course. I wanted to show you a little bit about it so you have a sense of what's in there and what to expect for a course from us at Port Prep. Now, I want you to know I've been teaching design and how to make a portfolio for many, many years. I have an degree uh, in fine art and I have a diploma of interior design. I've worked in architecture. I've been an architectural illustrator and I've taught for top schools like um, Sheridan and Humber and uh, and I've studied in, in Europe and uh, if you've been taught in the landscape architecture department um, in the uh, in U of G, lots of different schools, and I've helped so many students get accepted into architecture, industrial design, and interior design, and I'd love to help you too. So one of the ways is to learn how to draw like a designer. So let me show you around a little bit what the course looks like. And after I'm done that, I'll show you also how to find the course, where to sign up, what the options are, because we have different studies, uh, levels of study, to suit both your time and your budget. Okay, so we try to make it work for students and we schedule our lessons in the evenings and weekends when students are available, okay? So let's have a look at this, all right? Here we are with our website at Port Prep for portfolio preparation. And you could just come to our homepage and look at the online fall art courses and um, down here you'll see upcoming courses that we offer. What I'm talking about here is the design drawing course. There's more information down below here that you can find out about. You can click on any of these red banners 
to show what you're interested in. So design drawing would be the one you'd click. Another way to find it though is to go to the side menu and pick classes. And that takes you to, oops, that's the about page. Classes takes you to the class page. So scroll down. Notice that you can request a free trial here. So if you're not sure and you want to try it out, see if you think that this course is right for you, what is it like? Um, you're going to click that uh, request button and we will give you week one portal okay, to try out. Um, we teach in animation and illustration as well. But what you want to do is click all architecture into your design classes. We also help industrial designers though, and this course is good for any of those. So all you have to do is click the design drawing uh, red banner. Um, and you can notice that uh, the next classes begin October, November, and December. I have staggered times to sign up because I know sometimes students aren't ready right away and you need to get some help at whatever point uh, you need it. So I've opened it up to more start dates. I hope a bunch of you will sign up for this month, October coming up, because time is of the essence. You've got a lot of work ahead of you if you're applying for any type of design program, uh, applying this fall for next academic year. The portfolios are due um, December, January, February, and March, uh, most of them being in February. So the sooner you can start, the better. So click on design drawing and that'll take you to the course portal that tells you a little bit about um, the page. You can reserve your spot right there by clicking that. Notice that there's no particular date mentioned. That confuses people sometimes. The reason we do that is because we get students from all over the world and across Canada and North America. Uh, so we don't know what time zone the students are going to be in that want to take it this particular term. So what we do is we wait till everybody registers, we send out a group poll, and through consensus we pick a day and a time that works for everybody who's interested. If we can't find one that's interested, you know, we find a way to make sure that everybody gets the input they want. If you're curious about that, email us, we'll tell you more about it. So if you read through here, you're going to see what the various learning outcomes are. Um, about first, we want to teach you how to see and draw and use the visual part of your mind, not your stored knowledge. So we start with just teach you how to draw. And as a designer, the better you can draw, the easier your design life will be and so much easier when you do get into school. Um, so we start with some sort of rudimentary things, but we're always showing you ways that you could do this in a way that could be interesting for your portfolio. The first couple exercises probably aren't going to end up in your portfolio because you got to learn how to draw, but there's always potential there. So I'm always keeping that in mind that you're not just teaching how to draw in this course. Your ultimate goal is to learn what's there and make portfolio pieces while you're at it. And so I highly encourage that. But first we learn how to see and draw and how to increase your observational drawing skills. Um, because one of the things I really want to see in your portfolios is hand done drawings, drawings from life if possible, not from photos. Definitely don't trace. They can tell oftentimes, okay? Most of the time they can tell if something's in trace, they don't want that. And interestingly enough too, they don't really want a ton of architecture and they don't want AutoCAD or SketchUp or Revit and things like that. You could do a little bit of digital painting perhaps or some graphics work, but not, um, not computer aided drawings. They wanna see what you yourself can do with your own hand and eyes. So that means the more drawing experience you have, the better. And it is much better as a designer anyway, if you can draw. It's amazing the connection that there is to the your inner imagination and the outer observed world and how you can end up sketching out your ideas for your clients um, and being able to do that while you're in your education and of course in an amazing portfolio that gets you in, right? So um, we first teach you how to draw 
and give you some ideas on things you could make for your portfolio. Then we start learning how to draw the very basic things that make up design, like cubes, cylinders, rectangles, perspective basics, different ways of visualizing three-dimensional drawings from more sort of measured types of drawings to mostly perspective. Um, we teach you about what concept sketching is too and how to do an interior perspective drawing or in one point or an exterior in two point perspective. Um, we also learn, uh, help you learn how to sort of fine tune your skills and draw in color. So, um, so if you read through this, you'll see all the things that um, you uh, will take away from the course. And you'll see here how you can sign up. I'll come back to this in a minute, but you can see there's different ways you can sign up for our courses. Let's have a look inside the course and see the kinds of things you're going to learn how to draw. So first we learn how to um, engage the visual cortex in how to draw accurately. So there's various drawing exercises um, that are explained and for the first few exercises, you get like um, a couple of different exercises, some that are designed just to help you get that visual part of your brain going. Um, and so there's these little print pages that you can use to draw on. And we always have this black card that tells you what to do. Uh, then we'll have a demonstration videos, more sort of worksheets that you can use. Uh, to do your drawings where we learn how to draw and and see. So we start with drawing chairs because I think chairs and furniture are a really cool thing to include in your portfolio and they are required for a lot of schools like industrial design and interior design. And there's so many cool designs of chairs that architects and designers have made over the years. So it's a really fun way to design something kind of a little bit simpler and smaller than architecture and learn how to draw it. So we start with that. And um, so you'll see that there's always these different worksheets and there's several exercises each week in how to draw different things. So, and extra portfolio learning as well, just more um, things to learn about drawing chairs. So that is included in week one. Um, you're encouraged each time you do one of these things to say, okay, now that I know how to do that, let me draw my own chair that's maybe inspired by one of those interesting designs I show and um, include it with some really nice uh, line quality and uh, maybe even a bit of shade and shadow. Um, so week two, Two, we start to learn a little bit more. And so there's tons of videos in here and how to draw accurately. So we learn by drawing uh, plants because it's easier to learn how to draw more freeform things. Like the first week you're learning how to use the visual part of your brain and then you're learning how to draw sort of freeform curved chairs that have a little bit of perspective, but they're more about shape. And then you learn how to draw um, various trees so that, because you know, a lot of times in architecture and interior design, we have, we want plants to be part of our designs um, or trees outside to make places feel lived in. And I've seen so many drawings where the buildings look great and the trees look like something um, you might have drawn on a Christmas card later, you know, or that quintessential apple tree you remember doing when you were a kid. So um, we don't want Christmas trees and, and you know, clouds and things that look like from there from the Simpsons. We learn how to draw vegetation more intelligibly. So you can see here, there's lots of different ways we learn how to draw in these courses. Um, from how can I draw stylized plants the way architects do, or the way interior designers do, and start to develop a style. We There's lots of extra things like how do I draw plants? How can I draw a leaf? Just learn how to draw really well. Uh, one of the things that interior design students are often asked is to do some kind of still life drawing that has something organic in it. Um, so they want to see that. 
So you see there's a lot of learning in each portal of how to make your um, drawings in your portfolio. So we start with just how do I see positive and negative shape and form and learning how to um, observe primary, secondary, and tertiary forms and how to you know have a good line and so it's all just learning how to see and draw and develop um, sort of a I guess accuracy of your work so there's lots of learning opportunities here and lots of great examples and so in anything that I teach is usable in your portfolio we also have some really creative things to do the first exercise is making a really cool positive negative um, art piece for your portfolio. So there's tons of great learning here. In week three, we start to learn more about the basic building blocks of furniture, interiors, and architecture. So, so helpful, no matter what you're going to end up doing, whether it's product design or architecture, whatever, you'll see that um, you're going to learn through really detailed tutorial videos that show you how to draw from observation and from theory because designers need both we need to know what the world looks like but we also need to um and draw from life but at the same time see how to draw from theory because we want to draw our ideas out of imaginations and I show you lots of cool design type drawings, the kinds of things you can put in your portfolio. Inventive ideas, what is a strong design drawing? You'll see examples and you'll learn how to understand this stuff. So there's loads of information about that. There's slides to go through every week that I tell you about, and then you can refer to by clicking through to understand how to represent the three-dimensional world to look 3D on a two-dimensional surface. In various ways, we do that in design. So there's loads of slides there to teach you about that, that, of the kinds of things you could sort of emulate, and suggested exercises to do for your portfolio. So it's not a credit course, but it's um, it does give assignments as, as strong suggestions of what to do. You have total creative freedom in our courses because they're meant just to help you make your portfolio and build the skills so um but always learn from what's in the videos and in the slides but make them your own finish them to be interesting design drawings and there's always examples shown of what can make an interesting drawing so not just the information of how do we do it right but how do i make something that looks really good so like some of these you know you can make a cool looking drawing um you know, some of this stuff is just how do I do this and the applications of it. But I want to end up doing something that looks interesting in my portfolio, like maybe some furniture sketching um, or let's see what else. You know, add a little bit of color and some shade and shadow to a simple cube study and it looks cool for your portfolio. So there's so many things you can do. And so there's more and more learning throughout this, how to draft 3D views um, in various ways and how to do that. And so that you could do a drafted three-dimensional view. So there's different types of 3D views that way. And I teach you how to draft a bit. And then how to draw from theory in perspective in one point and two point and then how to apply that skill to sketching something. Um, and so that's week three. In week four, you start to get into a little more detail, like how do you draw from vision of drawing cubes? So here's like an example. We learn how to sight measure first. So actually learning how to draw from what you see and from what you learned the previous week, how to draw. So it's a really thorough class. So you're learning a lot here in just a couple of weeks. So we learn, there you see some, some theory, but also we learn how to sight measure. So this is learning how to draw from, from vision, not just theory. So it's 
both. So it's such a great way to really learn and be prepared. So we have you actually put something in front of you. Don't just draw off my screen um, of your screen of the video, but learning how to site measure uh, so that you fully understand how to draw. That's what my goal is in, in teaching you this kind of stuff. Um, so it's a really fantastic course. I've taught object drawing at Sheridan in the illustration program and at Humber and Design Foundations and for many years in lots of different places. Um, so it's all many, many years of teaching this kind of structural drawing to help designers um, visualize their ideas. And so you have a benefit of tons of years of teaching and training that I have. Um, so, and then of course, how to draw cylinders. There's all kinds of still life is a great thing to put in your portfolio. So there's loads of excellent examples in the slides. And, um, and then how to draw um, cylinders from vision and from theory and how to really have everything look great so that you can draw columns or round tables or flower pots or um, designing, I don't know, a carafe or something if you're a product designer. So it's just fundamental learning of how to draw and then tons of extra videos as well that teach you about still life drawing. So tons of excellent content there for you. And then in week six, we start learning how to draw a one point grid perspective so that you understand the theory of it and can do it. And then you get to create a room of your own design and, you know, finish it up, add some color rendering to it. And you've got something for your portfolio for sure. And then in week seven, we start learning about how to do two point perspective um, in lots of easy to use methods. So I always show a way that beginners can learn a lot in a short time and little tricks that work great if you're going to draw by hand. So I teach the ways that are useful to designers now as a student and in the future as a designer. Um, so I'm always teaching sort of guesstimate, some sense of measuring, but not a ton of, not highly technical because the, the highly technical methods of doing measured perspective drawings like I used to do as an illustrator um, before the days of, um, you know, 3D software, um, that knowledge is kind of lost and not used anymore because we do have 3D modeling. So if we're going to draw by hand as designers, how do we need to draw in what information do we need? That's what I show. So it's not useless to you. It's very useful information, both for your making your portfolio in your education and in your professional career later. You know, I had a friend I taught how to draw, who is a landscape architect, and she learned after only five lessons how to draw her designs better. And she said she tripled her income that year. She learned how to draw, not just because she could draw more professional looking designs and explain her ideas to her clients, but because she said she could th think three dimensionally now. So imagine that it can actually impact the quality of your design and obviously of your presentations and your income. How exciting is that? Uh, so, okay. And then in the final week, you get to learn how to use different color media that are very approachable to students, very affordable as well. So I teach some chalk pastel and um, pen line and some marker rendering and some pencil crayon. So a variety of things where you don't have to have a whole ton of markers. Um, how can you use those three uh, media together? So a few markers, some pastel, and pencil crayons that most people have anyway, and how to make some really impactful pieces for your portfolio. So really this course, design drawing and architectural and design portfolios go together very well for making your portfolio. Um, let's see, uh, let's go back to the website. I just wanna explain this, that you can sign up at 
three different levels. You could sign up at the intro level. So let's say you're taking architecture and design portfolios and you don't feel you have the time to take another whole course of having group lessons or private lessons and you just want some extra info to help you make your pieces, you could just get the intro set of just the videos. And you can see that's a lot of value, a lot of learning for $120. If you feel like, Mm, I really need input and I do so much better if I have a class schedule to keep. Um, I'm going to sign up for the basic level maybe. So then you might want that. Um, that's a group critique once a week and it's $370. So a ton of great learning. Each student will get about 20 minutes of input per group and the group, the next group will start in October and if we have enough students we'll start one in November or in December. So um, if you feel like oh my gosh I need a lot more time, I don't have any experience or your schedule just doesn't work to be able to be part of a group um, and you have the, the financial means you can sign up at the full level to get a whole hour of input which is great because it gives you enough time to go through the exercises and learn how to make really great portfolio pieces out of that learning and get more input how to get them portfolio ready so highly recommended to take it at the full level if you um, can afford to do so and um, and that you also have the freedom to kind of pace it out a little bit differently like if you sign up now like in in the fall early in the fall then you have more time uh, to pace it out every two weeks and or alternate the weeks of this with the architecture and design course so that you're making maximum effort out of this and getting a lot of value out of the course because you have more time to make the stuff. Um, it ends up being um, usually January, eh, usually about early to mid-February, most portfolios are due. So it's something to keep in mind um, when you're signing up for classes. Some people take these courses in the summer, uh, especially design drawing. It's a great one to take in the summers because um, you know, you're just gaining your skills before you make the portfolio. And then in the fall and winter is the perfect time to take the portfolio course. Anyway, if any of you have questions, please reach out to us. You can see here, you can just sign up online by clicking any one of these add to carts tells you what you get for each one of these and if you sign up for two courses at the same time you get to save money so that is exciting to be able to do and let's see also if you're not sure do I need design drawing what should I take what should I take first second you might want to just book a free assessment to have me look at your work and give you some input now I'm the main design drawing teacher and architecture teacher, but we do have other instructors as well. We have an amazing sketch artist who is an industrial and interior designer, fantastic instructor. We've got some TAs to help you as well. And we have artists of different types depending on your interest. So please reach out to us. We're here to help students. We've helped so many over the years get accepted. Um, and even get scholarships depending on the schools they're applying to. Like our students get into OCAD, U, Ryerson, Humber, um, uh, UBC, um, Laurentian, Waterloo, Carleton, uh, Dalhousie, if you're talking Canadian schools, Emily Carr, American schools like Pratt, Parsons, SVA, um, CalArts, RISD. Um, all kinds of excellent schools, Ringling, tons of top schools in the U.S. and even in um, Singapore or in the U.K. Um, so in various uh, schools in Europe as well. So we are here to help students. It's all what we're about and I love teaching and I'll tell you, you will get your value out of this whether you're the student or the parent watching this. Um, I tend to give even more time than what it says on the website because I just love helping you guys and I love hearing the excited news when you get accepted. So um, I hope to see you soon and help you grow your drawing skills and your design portfolio. 
Uh, if anybody wants to reach me, reach out, give me a call, a text, and uh, we'll help you out. Take care. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.